So I tell people the first thing to look at is look at the hands. If it's a fairly new watch and you're looking at the, the second and the minute hands and the hour hands, look with a loop and look for debris or you know rough scuff marks because what they do is... I, I tell people to look at the screw. If you open up the movement, look at the screws because the screws generally are on fakes. They're like torn up. It's because these people don't take their oh, time. Oh, no, no, not the screw. The, um, like on the, on the wheel, the, the um, regulation screws. Oh, like on the I may inside. have missed that, that yeah. You like, you well, you don't even have to go that far because most, yeah, people, most right. people don't know what that is. Yeah. So I tell people the first thing to look at is look at the hands. If it's a fairly new watch and you're looking at the, the second and the minute hands and the hour hands, look with a loop and look for debris or you know, rough scuff marks because what they do is if it's a cheap, if it's a fake, obviously yeah. they just take tweezers, they put these things together, they scratch them all up. Right. So you'll have a watch that's fairly new that's all scratched up. Okay. That's, a, that's one good sign. Okay. If you take it apart and look at the movement, start looking at the screws in there. The screws on fakes are always jaggedy. They're, they're just very quickly put in there. Right, yeah. So, they're, right, they're yeah, so you look at the grooves in between it, and that's one way. What was your name? Suzanne. Suzanne nice Anthony. Nice to meet you. Chad. Chad, nice yeah. to meet you. Nice to officially meet y'all. From here or? From Chicago. Okay. Town for business. Well, we're going to Miami on Monday and Tuesday for IWJG. And then I've got to go to San Francisco and LA that weekend. Mm -hmm. So maybe the following weekend. I haven't been to Chicago in a while. I love Chicago. Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> I went there for four days once just to eat, yeah. just to try <laughs> all the food. So I spent four days riding yeah. a bike around Chicago, around River North, if and everything. You, and, there, yeah. you should go to Ever, Curtis Duffy's new place. Amazing. Nice. Amazing. I'll remember like, that. Yeah. Or what I'll do is when I know I'm going, I'll say, hey, I'm going to Chicago next week. Throw your recommendations down there. That's what we're going to start doing is throwing recommendations down there and reaching out to everyone that's gotten on our network landing page. Who's Seiko is that? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's the snowflake. The snowflake. Yeah. But it is, it's, I love the spring drive. That's like the most, most popular one. There's my collection. I'm branching out now. I've got, <laughs> I've actually been branching out of Rolex. Mainly Daytona's for me when it's Rolex. I just recently got this Vacheron. Yeah. I've wanted this Omega since they released it. <laughs> and then of course you have to have a paddock dress watch. Yeah. Yeah. I've got that. Good. I don't know which one I like. I, I, this one's my favorite right now. My first watch was, uh, I got a Speedmaster Reduced. Yeah. The, with the yellow face, the mm -hmm. Michael Schumacher. Yeah. Schumacher, Schumacher yeah. Yeah. I just had it rebuilt because I had some water damage because mm -hmm. I didn't know how to care for it when I was younger and I got it. Is this considered a latest watch? Yes. Well, size. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a mid-size 31. That's... They started coming out with that because women started wanting a little bit bigger, couldn't yeah. jump from 26 to a 36. So mm -hmm. that's their solution. And those are extremely. Is that a 26? Yes. Okay. Chad and Susan came in from Chicago. Chicago. Yeah. Chicago. Did you see something you that. like? Did you find something you like already? Oh, I took it. What are you trying? Oh, what are you trying on? Look at that. What, what is that? 50 fathoms. The Blanc Pond 50 fathoms. Yes. And you had, she had what? Yeah, that's yeah. a perfect, put those together. That's a perfect little pair right there. Don't you think? <laughs> Where's it at? There we go. Yeah. <laughs> so who knows? Maybe they'll leave us something. <laughs> so what it, so y'all are in the bridal business. Yes. We sell weddings. We sell wedding it, dresses. That would be epic. It'll go on that one right there. So okay. what's your, what's your business? Or what's the business name? If, if someone's in Chicago and they want to look you up, what would it be? It would be Bali's Bridal. Bali's Bridal. And Boutique. Yep. And Boutique. Okay. And then Mr. Tux's Formal So Bali's Bridal and Boutique and Mr. Tux's Formal Wear. Yes. We will tag all of that below. You can get custom suits, rent tuxedos and suits from us, and then bridal dresses, mother of the wedding dresses, bridesmaids, flower girls. Nice. And we do all our alterations and options. Mm, nice. Yeah. So it was nice very nice to meet you. you. Nice to meet you. I'm going to get these guys all squared away and ready to go. 